Hey, good afternoon. It's, uh, what time is it? 1528 hours on a Tuesday afternoon on the 17th of January, 2023. Just in case you guys are out there in the middle of a deployment and don't know what day it is or what time it, it might be. And you haven't seen daylight for the last seven days. So, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right. So, on this thing, got another uh, question. Um, I got to do my job now as a realtor, right? I know. I, I saw, it's a hard life. But I still have to be very, very uh, mindful. Uh, I, I know I goof off a lot. You guys see it on Facebook and some of my social media sites, some of my pages. But I, I still got to earn a living, man. You know, once in a while, I got to get out of here, get out of bed, and uh, go to work. So, uh my military service members, and, and gosh, you guys know that I do not say it lightly when I say I love these guys being retired to the U.S. Navy. Uh, and the fact of the matter is that about 90% of my clientele base is uh, the military. I'm surrounded by uh, five naval installations, about roughly, se actually seven, a Coast Guard base and an Army Air Force base down south. So that makes... Uh, 10 military installations in the field. So, so there's a lot of transitioning folks when they PCS and they transfer and, and they, they try to get a hold of me. And uh, the most questions I get is about VA loans. Uh, there, there's some misconceptions. There's some myths and facts about it. So I, I'm going to clarify a number of these uh, uh, issues and concerns, okay? Uh, first of all, as a active duty military service member or retired or anybody that had gotten out that are no longer active as long as you have an honorable discharge you have that benefit of using your VA loan uh, first fact let's just say the statements and then I'll say it if it's a fact or a myth right uh, yes it is a zero down payment mortgage loan program but you have to qualify you have to qualify, just like a, any regular individual out there that wants to get a loan uh, for the military uh, from VA uh, in trying to get approved for a loan to purchase a house, whether it be, you know, a $200,000 house, $600,000 house, or whatever, right? You still have to qualify, meaning you have to find a lender. That was my computer. That was my computer telling me I got email. You got mail. Uh, any reputable lender will do. Through a bank, a credit union, a uh, bank like Bank of America, credit union, like Navy Federal Credit Union. And uh, if you are associated with a realtor, they have their go-to lenders. Uh, Granted, uh, up here in the Pacific Northwest, if you're military and you're transitioning up here, PCSing up to the Northwest, you probably already made contact with an NFCU member. Let me know if you have, because they kind of know me up there in the Silverdale area. Uh, the, the whole Pacific Northwest, all the way to Oregon, if you're going to NFCU, uh, the Silverdale branch in, uh, in Kitsap County, by Bremerton, a Banger uh, area. Uh, handles the whole Pacific Northwest transaction. So I would want you guys to go to a representative in Norfolk or a representative in Pensacola. If you're heading up here anyway, and I just like dealing with local folks. And if you're not dealing with NFCU, your uh, local reputable realtor should be able to assist you with regards to getting a lender that's local. I don't like going to 1-800 numbers or 888 numbers because when something goes left, it it's the customer service probably is not up to par to those that you could walk into a door, right? That being said, now if it is zero down, that means I could, here's the second question that I normally get. If it's zero down, that means all I got to do is sign my, if I get qualified, that means all I got to do is sign my papers during closing, and it's zero. Nothing comes out of my pocket, right? Yes, no. I remember I bought my first home in 1993 in San Diego. I literally didn't know what I was doing. One of my, my buddies 
my federal uh, petty officer, we both associated together to purchase our first home, San Diego, California. And at that point in time, they were they were cheap compared to this types of, of, of the market, right? Um, and and I didn't know what I was doing. I basically, uh, I was lucky enough to know, uh, I was lucky enough to know that he knew what he was doing. So basically, I just signed my name. It didn't cost me anything, not a cent. So at that point in time, even before I retired, I thought that, oh, this is how it works. Then I purchased my second home here in the Northwest in 2006. Oh, where I'm living right now. Um, never moved since. And at that time, I, how come I had to pay closing costs? How come I have? I didn't know that. I hope that answers your question. It is not totally zero move in free, okay? You have to deal with your closing costs, okay? Especially in a market where in the seller uh, does not want to participate. In, uh, and you'll go through this process. There are occasions during the uh, personal sale agreement where the seller can help you pay your closing costs. But what if they don't want to? Uh, I'm, I'm going to handle this question in another video. If they don't want to, this is the general answer, right? You can ensure, or as long as you have enough, qual enough amount to qualify you higher than the purchase price, you can cap that off and add it to the balance of the purchase price, right? That's a generic answer. Now, there, there are other avenues on how such would affect totally your closing cost. So right now, let's just, let's just be inclined to, to, to receive that answer as a yes or a no, all right? Saying that, hey, you know what? It can happen, but no, it cannot happen depending on what you qualify for. Um, where was that other question I got here? I'm scrolling through my... Uh, the third one is your settlement cost. Your settlement cost is basically admin fees that will associate towards your closing cost. So when VA... So I'm going through the, the website of the VA law, of the VA uh, uh, of, of Veterans Administration with regards to the uh, getting qualified for a VA loan. And they said that they guarantee that you have the best or the lowest interest rate. Well, that's kind of not true because VA does not deal with the lenders. They don't deal with the lending process, all right? You have to deal with your lender. And associating with so many lenders in my... 16 years in real estate now. Uh, those That's why I always tell my, my buyers, we got to go shop for a lender. I don't care who it is, all right? Because if they really, they're really willing to help you, they're going to fight for that rate. And it's not just all about rate. They can do a whole ton of, there's a lot of variables involved in how to get you a lower rate and how to get... Lower rate doesn't necessarily translate to lower monthly payments. And that's all I care about. Hey, how much do I have to pay for this? All right. So as long as you uh, window shop, look, if you go on outlets, and I tell this to all my buyers all the time, right? Are you going to pick the first $150 pair of Nike shoes you should see and you're going to buy that? No, you're not. That's a $150 shoe. My God, this is half a million dollar all payable in 30 years. Okay? So simply because a lender tells you, hey, this is what you, oh, sh that is a very low, you know, just like any product that you purchase out there. And I go to Costco and I wouldn't even buy us a 20 pound bag of rice for 20 bucks. I do it this shop. <laughs> all right? So uh, that being said, th those are the most important items. Because low rates doesn't necessarily translate to low payments. Uh, zero down payment doesn't necessarily translate to zero out of your pocket. Um, and lastly, go find the best, not the best, I mean, okay, look, if you need a second opinion on all these questions that you have on, uh, on a search of a home, use me. You guys know where I'm at. 
I don't care if you're moving to Pensacola, you already have an agent there. If you're moving to Missouri or the snowy mountains of Montana or down in the border by Arizona, I don't care. San Diego, San Francisco, wherever, right? Use me. And I'll be more than happy and willing to associate with you guys, to help you guys, to give you my opinion. You don't need to follow it all the time. And that's why your window shut. And if you need help in finding an agent out there in the middle of nowhere, wherever you guys are transferring at, again, hook up with me. I will make sure that you are associated with a productive agent out there. Don't make money in it, out of this. It's just that it's the least I can do with all you guys. And, and I, especially you guys that are out there. I've been there before, and I know it's hard. You leave your families, and the last thing you want is to have a safe environment for your family, for your kids while you guys are deployed, for them to have a life and a home to go home to, especially for you to go home to once you're already home, right? Uh, so I, I'm just going to keep that as is. It's already a 10-minute video, and I know how military folks are. If it lasts more than five minutes, you guys are already sleeping. So anyway, to the men and women out there that are currently deployed, to those that are stationed overseas, forward deployed, and those that are doing their uh, maintenance and upkeeps, regardless where, on duty, wherever you may be, you guys, go take care of yourself. Be safe. Follow the rules. Don't get into trouble, especially in some foreign land. Right? And remember, if you guys deploy... The best thing about it is that you guys are coming back. You guys are coming. You guys take care. Enjoy the evening and post.